Hello everyone, this is Jeff with Zucker Marketing. Thank you so much for making time to talk with me earlier today and as promised, here's your website analysis. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can get more customers online. I'm also going to run through a couple of things that you can implement right now. And in addition to reviewing your website, we're also going to look at one of your competitors' website and show you how they're currently beating you online and what you can actually do differently to counteract that. So first, we'll start off with your website. Well, you actually have a pretty good looking website. You have your logo at the top, your phone number. You also have good photos, nice layout, and good amount of contents as well. So there's actually just a few things we're gonna get over with for us to make sure we get you on top of the search list. Well, one thing I can tell right off the bat is that Google loves content. Google actually would like to see a minimum of 1500 words on a homepage. And in addition to this, the more content you'll have, the more you look like an expert in Google's eyes. So of course, if you want to beat out the competition, you'd wanna have 1500 words or more. So let's go ahead and do a quick count just for us to see how many words you have on your homepage. All right, so currently you have 898 words, which is actually a good number. However, we're still quite behind with the goal of 1500 for us to actually be considered by Google as a trustworthy website. Another thing we like to talk about are keywords. Google is also looking for keywords. It's looking for what the site should be found for. So if you have the exact words listed multiple times on your website, you're going to be really relevant for that search. And of course, Google is going to be willing to put you higher in the results. So we actually did a quick search of the roofing companies in one of the areas you're servicing. We'll talk more about the results that we have here. So let's go ahead and start off with the first one. So this is what we call the map pack. And this is something wherein you really would like to be on since these are the ones that gets a lot of attention, a lot of traffic, and are easier to find. One way for you to actually be here is you'll need to have Google My Business profile wherein you'll enter as much information as possible, like the company name, phone number, email, company address, hours of operation, photos, and so on and so forth. And also, one way for you to consistently be on the map pack and, of course, be at the top of the list is you'll need to add all of those information in as many directories as possible, like on Yelp, Yellow Pages, Angie.com, and so on and so forth. Moving on to the next part, these are what we call the organic searches. So these are all the websites that actually ranks higher without people paying for any ads just because they're doing some certain things. That's exactly what we're going to talk about and analyze. So I actually pulled up one of the top ranking website or one of your top competitors and let's see what they actually have differently. Well, looking at their website, they also have their logo at the top. They have good photos and good amount of contents as well. So let's go ahead and dig deeper with the numbers instead. So we have your Ahrefs, one of the paid tools that we're using for us to have some more information on the back end of your website. We'll talk more about the numbers, so let's start off with DR. So this is the level of trust that Google has in your website, and UR is the strength of your website. Backlinks, on the other hand, these are other websites that refers to your website, so they're like shoutouts from different directories like Yellow Pages, Yelp, and alike. One important thing that I need to discuss about backlinks and referring domains is that this should be a 2 to 1 ratio. So the 95 referring domains that you have are actually what we call the good or strong backlinks. And the rest of the missing backlinks are what we consider the spammy backlinks. And of course, um, we'll look at your competitors' numbers as well and we'll be comparing what they're actually doing differently. Um, starting off with DR and UR, it actually shows that they have more numbers with UR, which simply means that Google actually finds their website a much more stronger website um, however with dr you do have an equivalent number which means you're both um, you know like trustworthy in google's eyes however their edge seems to be with the backlinks and keywords since they have a like a better ratio between backlinks and referring domains um, they were actually able to get more traffic out of it and also they have more keywords so what you can actually do differently on your end is since you already have a good number of backlinks is you'll just need to increase the number of your referring domains and keywords. That way you'll actually end up with more traffic than, they, than what they actually are getting. 
So with that being said, let's go ahead and talk more about referring domains and keywords. And let's discuss the importance of this too, especially in making your website stronger and better. Starting off with the good or strong backlinks. So these are all the directories they're currently listed on that actually brings them a lot of attention and a lot of traffic. That's why they're also ranking higher in the searches. Next are the organic keywords. So these are all the keywords they have listed on their website. So when customers search for these specific words, their website will show on top of the list. And if you also look at the numbers and their volume, these are the total number of people that's actually searching for these specific keywords on Google every month. So that's how important in choosing the right keyword is. That way, more people will be able to find your website faster and easier. Another thing I would like to share about keywords is what we call the hidden keyword. So for every photo that you have on your website, you can actually rename them with a hidden keyword instead. That way, you'll be able to have more hidden keywords added into your website. And not only that, of course, for those keywords to not to be repetitive on your website as well. So just to wrap things up, the most important things that we can do to improve your ranking is first the amount of content when we're going to add more words into your homepage. That way, Google will actually consider your website a much more trustworthy website and also a stronger website. Next would be the backlinks when we're going to add your information to more directories as possible. That way, we can actually bring you more traffic and, of course, the higher chances of your website in appearing at the top of the map pack searches. And last but not the least would be the keywords where we're going to help you out in adding more keywords and, of course, choosing the right ones. That way, more customers will be able to find your website quicker and easier. So these are all the things that you can actually implement right now. We can also help you in making these changes and more with the goal of getting you many new customers. I'm also going to be following up with you to get some feedback about the ideas I shared on this video, so I really do appreciate your time. You all have a wonderful day. Bye!